good morning all of you and welcome in third year ty bsc physics uh, today we are going to start the sixth fifth semester in fifth semester uh, the name of the paper is a electrodynamics in electrodynamics this is the paper number 16 This course consists of a four number of chapters. Total weightage of the course is a fifty marks. In this semester, basically we have to study a two theory papers, and also we have a two practical courses. And then next semester also we have two papers and two uh, practical courses. but in this lecture we have to start the paper number 16 here in this paper number 16 we have four number of chapters in that first topic name of the first topic is a very familiar topic that is electrostatics the topic number 2 that is time varying uh, electric field for so time varying fields this is the topic number 2 and third topic is electromagnetic waves this is the third one and fourth one is interaction of electromagnetic waves chapter number 4 is interaction of electromagnetic waves with matter these are the four number of topics these are very important topics in electrodynamics basically electrostatics we have starts from 11th standard we have studied electrostatics in some portion in 11th standard some in 12th standard also some portion we have to study in uh, bsc first year uh, that is electricity and magnetism course and now also we have uh, advanced concept from that some basic concept and some advanced concept from the electrostatics today we are going to discuss in this topic now for this course what are the different number of books we have to use uh, university we have given some reference book in that uh, five six books we have given in that three books are very important that is uh, the first one is reference books first important book is we have introduction to electro dynamics introduction to electro dynamics that is the name of author is david griffith third edition generally we have refer here second that is book is also uh, in your syllabus that is we have electrodynamics by b b lau
this is the third number of books uh, second number of books and third one is also one more book we have to uh, refer in this course that is uh, electrodynamics by gupta kumar and singh This is Merit publication, uh, Pragati pra Prakashan book we have, that is Merit publication, uh, we have to use. Uh, out of this, this is very uh, most important books, that is uh, Introduction to Electrodynamics by David Gill. Also, we will have to these three books we have to refer for this course. And also, we are uh, giving some <coughs> important notes, myself, prepared for this course. These notes are very important. And this we have to prepare point wise. We have to got a maximum score in this course in the last uh, many years. Some uh, many boys have got a very important or very more score in this paper. This is a mathematical paper, mathematical concept. When we have to prepare well, then this course gives a out of marks for your fifth semester. Okay. I hope we have uh, introduced these uh, topics and uh, books we have to refer for this paper. This is very important. You have to write down yourself. That is, course name is Electrodynamics, semester fifth, paper number 16. This consists of four number of topics. Number one is electrostatics. Number two is time varying field number three is electro uh, magnetic waves third one is uh, fourth one is interaction interaction of electromagnetic waves with matter and these three reference books we have to uh, prepare, use for preparing the notes and studying uh, these course okay the introduction to electrodynamics by david Dip, third edition electrodynamics by bb lao electrodynamics by gupta Kumar and Singh. Also other books are there but we have to refer these three are very important. That's why. And then we are going to study here the most important topic that is say electrostatics. We are familiar with this topic. We have to start today's lecture that is topic number one that is electrostatics. In electro electrostatics we have the first article is say introduction. In the introduction, <coughs> first of all we have to know the topic name is what? Electrostatics. First of all we have to study what is electrostatics. Electrostatics मंजे का है मतलब तो बड़े जनाब तो हमारा माहित पना से इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स में आकर भी पसंद सीखता था इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक मंजे तो ये का है तो यह टॉपिक में दे जनरली अपन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जा स्टडी करतो मनु वी हैव टू डिफाइन दिस व्हाट इज इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक तो वी हैव टू से दैट द स्टडी ऑफ � the study of electricity electricity म्हणजे ज्या फिजिक्सचा ब्रांच मध्ये इलेक्ट्रिसिटीचा स्टडी केला जातो किंवा और वी हैव टू से दैट इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस एट रेस्ट और इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस Electric charges at rest is known as the 
ज्या फिजिक्स ब्रांच मध्य बेसिकली इलेक्ट्रिसिटी का स्टडी के इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस एट रेस्ट दैट इज कॉल्ड एज वॉट इलेक्ट्रोस्टिक्स द ब्रांच ऑफ फिजिक्स इन दैट वी हैव टू स्टडी द इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स वॉट इज इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स द इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक मीन स्टडी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी और इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस एट रेस्ट इज नोन एज वॉट इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स means what are the electro electric charges are at rest let us consider we have a some a source charges q1 we have to consider here large number of charges first one is here second third then here fourth fifth sixth seventh like that we have to say that this is say q1 This is say Q2. This is say Q3. Dot 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 dot. This is considered as say Q1. This is called as say figure A. That is called as say source charge. And we have now consider a one more another charge that is called as say Q. And this Q charge is called as say figure B. and that figure b is called as a test charge this is a source charge and another is called as a test charge generally source charge is a stationary stress charges we have to consider a stationary and a uh, source charge is a stationary and test charge is a moving we know the property of a charge when we have a two number of charges one is a positive charge and another is a negative charge what will happen when two unlike charges are comes together what will happen they are attracted toward each other and like charges are repel from each other means we have a uh, one is a source charge and another is a say test charge source charge is say stationary and test charge is in motion what will happen that the charge is we have to in general both source charge and test charge are we have to consider here in motion and when the two charges are motion in motion at that time it may be attraction or it may be a repulsion and what happen by using attraction and repulsion uh, between the two charges that is studied by uh, gauss and also we have a coulomb's law the main important concept in this topic we have to studied about a gauss's law and a coulomb's law about the charge first of all a charge is a charge is a scalar quantity in real standard we have to study the different number of quantity that is scalar quantity and vector quantity those physical quantity which have only magnitude that is called as scalar quantity and the physical quantity which have magnitude as well as direction they are called as vector quantity here charge is a scalar quantity it is measured in coulomb charge is measured in coulomb symbolically it is denoted by say c now we have one more formula that is i current current is what denoted by say i just today we are going to discuss a basic quantity today here current is what is definition of the current the rate of flow of charge what we have to say that dq by dt q are simply we have to say that say q upon t that is rate of flow of charge 
is called as electric current. Current is measured in its SI unit is what we have. Charge is measured in coulomb. Time is measured in second, or it is measured in ampere. A. This is the unit of the electric current. Basically, it is a fundamental quantity. Electric current is a fundamental quantity. No, in physics we have seven number of fundamental quantities. One is called as say length, mass, time, temperature, electric current, and luminous intensity and amount of substances. In that, current is a, a fundamental quantity. And in that formula, we have to got the charge, the rate of flow, rate of flow charge is called as what? A current. That is flow of electrons we have to consider means a, a charge and the charge is measured in what? Coulomb. It is a scalar quantity and basically this topic what we have to discuss that is a interaction of the electric charges in free space and due to uh, we have to consider that basis of a Coulomb's law and Gauss law. So we have to discuss here also one more law that is Coulomb's law. All these are the introductory point. Just we have to revise from the last classes. That is Coulomb's law. From school level we have to study about what is current, what is charge and then also we have electrostatics means what, Coulomb's law means what, electricity means what, that is we have already studied, just we have to revise here, that is Coulomb's law means what, the what we have here in uh, uh, BSC first year also we have 11th standard, we have to discuss about the Coulomb's law, the force of attraction or repulsion between any two point charges, let us consider the first point charge is say Q1, and second point charge is we have to consider say Q2, or we have to say that say just Q and small Q and capital Q that is a source charge. One is considered as a small Q, and another is considered as what we have to say that say capital Q. And the separated by the distance between two charges is once we have to consider this is what we have to say that R. And then we have to say the force of attraction or repulsion between any two point charges that is we have to say that force of attraction or repulsion between any two point charges that is Q into capital Q divided by what we have to say that R square this is the basic formula for what we have to consider say force the force of attraction or repulsion between any two point charges is directly proportional to product of their charges and inversely proportional to square of the distance between them. This is the basic statement about the Coulomb's law. Here we have to consider uh, one more positive, two positive charges or what we have to consider two negative charges or one positive and another negative. It may be when the two like charges are there, at that time there is repulsion and when two unlike charges are there, at that time there is attraction, force of attraction or repulsion between any two point charges is directly proportional to means this force is directly proportional to product of the charges and inversely proportional to what square of the distance between them inversely proportional to square of the distance between them f is directly proportional to q into q and inversely proportional to what r square here 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 is a, one of the constant factor and where we have to say that F is the force, Q is the charge and R is what we have to say that a distance. Means epsilon 0, where epsilon 0 is permittivity of free space. And having value that is epsilon 0 is equal to 8.85 into 10 raised to power minus 12 coulomb square per newton meter square. Here what we have to say that force is measured in. We have to replace this factor. This epsilon 0 
comes here and 4 is here, what you have to get that? Epsilon 0 is equal to 1 upon 4 pi into f. f is what? Newton. R is what? A distance. Distance is measured in meter. So it is Newton meter square. Uh, first charge Q, it is measured in Coulomb. Another charge Q is also measured in Coulomb. So Q into Q, it is what? That is Coulomb into Coulomb. Coulomb square per Newton meter square. Very simple unit we have to use here. Coulomb square per Newton meter square. And having value epsilon 0, it is very important. While solving the problem, this factor is we have to know for uh, problem solving 8.85 10 to the power minus 12 Coulomb square per, per Newton meter square. And also we have one more factor that is we have to multiply this 4 pi into epsilon 0. This multiplication is also we have to get that. Sometimes we have to use this factor also 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught is equals to 9 into 10 to the power 9. This is we have to consider that is 9 into 10 to the power 9. That's a unit I have. Newton meter square per Coulomb square. This is also a constant that is that is sometimes we have to use for that k and that is having value is say 4.45 4 pi 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 is equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9. This is the value for the uh, constant we have to consider here. One moment. I don't know all these points are very important here. Uh, I think this introduction part is very important we have. The first of all we have to study what? Electric, uh, electrostatics. Electrostatic means what we have. That is, electrostatic means what? The study of electricity or electric charges at rest is called as what? Electrostatics. In electrostatics, we have to consider a two number of charges here. That is first one is called a source charge. Q1, Q2, Q3, dot, 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 QI is considered as a source charge. And Q, capital Q, is considered as what? A test charge. And here, source charge, it may be a stationary. And test charge is we have to consider, say, moving. When these two charges are moving, at that time it may be attraction or it may be repulsion between them. And this is the uh, interaction of the charges we have to study by using a Gauss law and Coulomb's law. Basically we have charge is a, a scalar quantity and this uh, scalar quantity we have to measure in a Coulomb. Charge is measured in what? A Coulomb. And then also we have one more basic quantity we have to know here that is a electric current. Electric current means what? The rate of flow of charge. What we have? The rate of flow of charge that is dQ by dt or Q upon t where Q is measured in Coulomb and time is measured in second. Coulomb per second is also called as a ampere. So charge having unit is Coulomb per second or ampere. Also we have studied uh, one more important law in 11th standard also and BSc first year also that is Coulomb's law. Coulomb's law means what? The statement of this law we have already studied just we have to revise here that is force of attraction or repulsion between any two point charges. The force of attraction or repulsion between any two point charges that is, is directly proportional to what? A product of their charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them and where epsilon 0 is called as what? That is permittivity of free space and here epsilon 0 having value is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb square per newton meter square. Epsilon 0 we have to shift to the left hand side and force is shifted to the right hand side it gets that f is equals to qq upon r square and finally it gets that 
that is a 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 is 1 more, a constant and that constant having value is 9 into 10 to the power 9 Newton meter square per Coulomb square. Sometimes multiple choice question may be asked on that, what is the unit of permittivity? So, permittivity of the free space. You are 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 having value is, the value is 9 into 10 to the power 9 Newton meter square per Coulomb square. These are the introductory part about the uh, electrostatics we have to study here. I hope we have understand these basic concepts uh, and also we have to just revise from the last year book what is the different things about the electrostatics and in our syllabus we are going to study some another important articles that is on the next lecture. I hope we have to write down this and uh, understand it. Okay, thank you.